is for Beyond the Game. Um, this is also for ladies. I think we can share this video other places as needed. It's my phone. No fucking 1.30 a.m. and shit. Um, let me tell you what well, this is. Chris. Chris is here for a one-on-one. -on -one. And for people that know what that is, you know what that is. And people don't know what that is, is, you know, every once in a while a student or somebody worldwide decides to take a day and invest a lot of money to come and study with me. And it's my task to make it worth it for them. So Chris is here. From, from where? Where are you from? Florida. Flor fuck, Florida. And, and of course, Malachi. Malachi. Shrine Dionysus is director here. And uh, the reason I'm making this video, and normally I'm not in the video myself when my students come, is because uh, one of the things that happens when my students arrive is I get motivated to show them in field some of the things that are possible. Where we are right now is a global SLR event is coming up and constantly, every day, every hour, every minute, I've been engaged in higher levels of understanding when it comes to seduction and the mind and communication. So tonight when uh, Chris came we went out and the regular activities happened where at some point it may have sounded incredible. I said to him, look, wait. And in the middle of the conversation I had the girl just look into my eyes. And I said a few things and then we made out. Is that true? Yeah, you've seen that before. You've yes. seen that before. She that was new to you. That was, uh, yes. That was new. Yeah. And then I said, okay, well, I'm going to do it again. So I did it with another girl. Yeah. Same exact thing in the middle of the conversation. Watch. And again, that sounds incredible to you, but I have done that many times. He's seen it, Akito's seen it, other people have seen it. But then I wanted to try something. I wanted to try something that I got from a new friend of mine who was a very high level um, mental practitioner. And just like he's paying me, I paid him recently. I'm not going to mention his name yet until we become really close friends. And when we were in conversation, he said to me, you should try doing this. If you can do what you're doing, try doing this. Now, I'm going to stop in just a second, a moment, and I'm going to have them describe what they saw. And the reason why I'm in this video is to give you the background. Up until now, if somebody could look at a woman and make, him, make them kiss him, that sounded incredible. But what I did tonight opened up my eyes to new possibilities of what reality is, what energy is, what's possible. And before I did it, I said to them, I'm going to try something. It's the first time I'm trying it. Watch. <laughs> and then I did something with the woman. And now I'm going to stop, and they're going to try to together figure out, because we were trying to figure out how to explain what happened. Okay? But what happened is exactly what I decided was going to happen. It wasn't an accident. Okay? So now I'm going to leave it to you guys to to somehow convey exactly what you saw with no uh, exaggeration. Okay? So I'm going to sit down, because I like to hear it too, because it was, it was pretty amazing. Yeah, it was a, a really amazing night, very phenomenal. I mean, Arash really took his evolution to another level. I think this is kind of why he's on camera with us now, because, you know, it, he really took it to a different dimension tonight, and, and we saw some stuff. I saw some stuff personally that I've never seen before. It was amazing. It was like he was tapping into different realities. Um, but um, one of the things that we saw, Chris, was... Uh, Arash said, watch this. And, you know, for, 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 for you guys that haven't seen Arash in person, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be like gaming. It's going to be kind of hard for you to really fathom this, but this is reality. We're, we're witnessing a reality here, and Arash has been saying this lately, reality is food. But one of the things we saw, Chris, was Arash turned to a girl and said, hey guys, watch this. And, he, and she knew she was on stage, and he said... Watch this. And then he turned to the girl and just started seducing her, doing his thing, doing his thing, doing his thing. I, I'm telling you, within 30 seconds, Chris, tell us what happened. Uh, it was just an intense presence and eye contact and some words mumbled that I couldn't hear, but she heard. I immediately noticed her rib cage breathing and kind of rhythmic. She was following her own energy that was being guided by Arash and then it just 
I've talked about this thing. Their face is met. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. So, all that is all so that is about. Right, right. I don't know if they forgot, but this, this yeah. is what I was talking about. All yeah. that shit, I've been doing my job. So these are the yeah. precursors. So yeah. 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 then what happened, and I was interested because I was kind of paralyzed, that, uh, didn't know what to do outside of our little circle of interaction. And so Rosh turns to me and says, I'm going to try something. First time, I've never tried this before. Yeah. Which gave me some confidence because it's like, I've not tried anything that has <laughs> happened. So, He's taking the, the plunge and he's going to try something and show us what it's like to try something the first time. And uh, it was some, just, you told her to put your hand here, the connected hand. I just told the girl, I haven't tried this before. Yeah. I said, I'm going to try something with you I've never tried before. Right? It was like it was the first time. And I, I didn't know, I knew I was going to fully commit to the damn thing, but she even knew, like, hey, I'm about to fucking try something with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which is what it ended up, it was that commitment. Yeah. The 100% of um, my intention is in this. I am not distracted by anything. Other people, Malachi and Chris here looking at me, I'm totally unaffected by eyes on me. And their hands were connected. And there was some uh, intentional focus on the fingertips. Maybe some words spoken I couldn't see or really hear. I was, at, I was kind of behind. But um, it was slow and methodical. And then the hands separated. And... They mirrored each other as a rush. Explain that slowly. Like, what happened? Explain that. That's all, this is a part that you have to try to understand what happened. So, here. guys, I mean, it's really hard to really explain this, but Arash was, was, was tapping into dimensions and realities here. I mean, he had the girl mirroring him, and they were not even touching hands. He was like this way far away. And, and then what did I do? And so she was, she was that's her hand, hand, right? Yes. This is my hand. Yes. That's her hand. So I pulled away. Yes. And then, without saying a word. Yes. Without saying a word. Yes. I went like this. And then she mirrored. And her finger started to move with the my same finger. Way. Exact same, same way. way. And then I brought it up. Yes. And then I did the other one. It's crazy because he kept doing different fingers, right? <laughs> and this girl was mirroring his actions at the same time. She wasn't trying to. Yeah. She was yes. looking at it happen. Afterwards, she was like. What, what the heck is going she on? She's like here? pushing it, like, stop it. Yeah. Get this yeah. off of you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so to break it, thank you. To break it down, what, uh, I put my hand on my hand, pulled away, and I said to her, watch. And I slowly moved one finger down. And as I moved it, her hand, the same finger moved exactly as my finger did, at the same speed, then. As I moved up, her finger moved up. Then I said, watch. And I moved the other finger. And I did it again. Did it a few times and then I backed up. And she was flipping out. Yes. So that that was uh, that that's what it was. It was I don't know if we got we conveyed it and for myself I if I didn't think it was possible I wouldn't have done it. I knew I knew it was possible, but to, to do it um, change something in me, because what what the fuck, right? What the fuck, right? Let's like keep in mind that this is like a loud club. Oh yeah, we were in a fucking strip club. This wasn't like in isolation, like, all right, let's be focused here, no distractions. Like, there were lots of distractions. That's right. So, that was impressive. And then when it was done, you know, I let it go, and like they said, she was just, she, her hand was like vibrating with energy. She kept trying to be like, I, I can't, you know, and, uh, so, anyways, I, I thank you for you guys for, for the for the testimony. That's what happened, and I'm telling you because you need to understand that these are things that are actually happening. Like this is this is going down, guys. Everybody who's ever done a one-on-one -on -one with me, find them, find them. They're around. Talk to them about what they saw. They've all seen things that they'll never forget, and their reality is completely shifted. That's something you can't say into words. You can't, like I'm telling you in words, you're like, oh, that's amazing, that sounds so cool. But being there and observing what can happen right in front of you and seeing the person's reaction where they no longer, are, I'm controlling their body like a puppet, just like this. I'm, I knew I could. <laughs> that's why I did it. Anyways, uh, that's that. It's kind of a long video. You want to tell them anything, Chris? How was the night so far? It's your birthday, man. I surprised you. Yeah, I mean, it was yeah. my birthday. It was a great birthday. And, uh... I mean, I had, honestly, my mind was just kind of like ripped out of my head and then reconfigured a little bit and then put back in lots of metaphors that just, I mean, it's one of the reasons why I study from Arash is just the metaphors that are just 
they're natural, they're metaphors of nature that you can see everywhere, yeah. and if it's anywhere, then it's everywhere. Exactly. Uh, so, I mean, there's still more work to be done. But Use open up some sets too, right? And I got some confidence from that. If yeah. Arash is going to try something new, well, Chris is going to try something Good. new. So, and I showed you how to open a set that I didn't know the code. He saw that, we went right into and it. And it, so, it was without a beat, like without any hesitation. I was like, Arash, I just feel a little paralyzed. I, like, I don't even know how to open. He's like, all right, let me show you. <laughs> yeah. went and opened and brought them over, like in a minute. And, uh, and, and then I had what I did to that girl. Yeah, and that girl was right immediately that shit, like, closed yeah. off, and it's like, I noticed that you might be a little closed off, and let me do some things, and then she was relaxed. That one, but then I went right into the other one, and I kept my hand on this one, yeah. and I said, feel this, she's like, yeah. oh my god, you're... And then she was yeah. almost crying. <laughs> yeah, she was like, I'm my eyes to tear down. I was like, fuck yeah. Pure magic tonight, guys, pure magic. Yeah, can anybody do it? I don't know. Okay, I know I can do it. I'm sure others can do it. You're going to have to study, you're going to have to be committed, dedicated, and I think that one of the things that... Uh, Chris has noticed in the last couple, two out of three hours been together, is that I'm fully committed to what I do. Yes. I'm a thousand, this is, I don't do, this is my life. I am this, you know what I mean? I, am, I, don't, want, I don't want anything else in my life. I want to go all the way and see what's possible. Now, reality is starting to open up, like, and I'm seeing the fabric of it. Okay, so I hope you guys continue doing your studies. Just figure out a way to make it here before I, I become unaccessible, because I know, I know that day is coming. I, Feel it in my fucking bones. Unless you're like a king of a country or something. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm contacted one day. When people find out that it's the right people, they're going to want to know. Of and then I have to figure out what I'm going to do with that yeah. one. Okay, thank you. Okay? I'm Tenacious. Peace. Peace.